People around the world have got access to more doctors, more health education than they ever have. And yet, in many developed nations, we're getting sicker than ever. The Work Colleague of the Future report, commissioned by Fellows, shows that actually one of the biggest reasons for this is the office. We've created a representation of the Work Colleague of the Future. We're calling Emma. What we've actually identified are danger areas around the office. The biggest culprit is increasingly the chair. In Britain, we spend eight years of our entire lives sitting down, and that's having huge problems on our health. And unless we do something about it, it's going to change our entire appearance. Emma has a permanently bent back now because of the way she's been sitting at her workstation. The muscles in her legs are much weaker. Uh, she has varicose veins because of blood flow, which is not as good as it was. Her eyes are redder, again, because of the quality of the air. She has more nose hair, more ear hair. She has a swollen nose. She's much more stressed, so therefore we'll see the stress-related eczema on her arms. And also, Emma has kind of a sallow skin because she's been in artificial light for so many years. Workplace well-being and our sedentary lifestyles are having a major negative impact. If we're going to do anything about it, employers and employees both need to take some responsibility. We need to spend less time staring at a screen. We need to take more regular breaks. We need to get up. We need to do less of what I'm doing now and more walking around. Employers can do a lot more in the workplace. If they can design buildings so that there are actually more spaces for people to take breaks in, if there are different types of desks, different types of workstations. We need to encourage more walk and talk meetings. But if we keep doing the same things, we could have problems as bad in the workplace as we thought we'd left behind in the last Industrial Revolution. It's too late for Emma. A lot of the problems she has are permanent. But employees who are working now can do a lot to improve their lives.